Dear friends and family, with great affection for Jason and Alex, we have gathered together to witness and to bless their union in marriage. So therefore, we celebrate with them the love that they have discovered in Christ and with each other. We support their decision to commit themselves to one another for the rest of their lives. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Mother and I. My beautiful. You may be seated. In the scriptures, it defines God's kind of love. Love is patient, love is kind, love does not envy, it does not boast, and it is not proud. It does not dishonor others, and it is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. And love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It is always protecting, always trust, always hopes and it always perseveres love never fails god is love may you try to outlove each other with agape kind of love marriage is a total commitment of the total person for the total of life and so therefore jason and alex is it of major and utmost importance that god has given you the right and in your heart for each other as well as for him and in your marriage. As followers of Christ, Jason and Alex invite you to join in prayer as we bless and as we bless them with God's kind of blessing this day and this marriage and this ceremony and for the future that they will have together. Shall we bow our hearts and heads together? Our Heavenly Father, <clears throat> what a joy it is to be here on these grounds that hold so many wonderful memories the memory makers of the past, and now they're going to be the unforgettable memory maker as a couple, to be etched upon Alex's and Jason's mind and in their heart until Jesus comes. So Jesus, we ask that you will attend this marriage and this ceremony, and as you did in Cana of Galilee, as you visited this planet to become our Savior and Lord, and we ask that you will go before them and order their steps in your will and in your ways. May Jason and Alex serve you with all of their hearts and be as examples of what a marriage should be like in a culture that is losing its sacredness and value of the marriage covenant. We pray that the very providence that brought Alex and Jason together be the same guidance that will lead them through life together doing God's will. May their love for you grow throughout their years together. Their marriage be founded and established upon biblical principles. And now as Alex and as Jason experience the marriage ceremony, we invite your presence and pleasure upon it. In Jesus' name, amen. Jason, I want you to take a deep breath. Forget the production. You are now the participant in this ceremony, not the uh, videographer. <laughs> the Bible looks upon marriage not as a social contract between two individuals that, be, that can be dissolved at will, but a sacred covenant between man, woman, and their Lord. Marriage was divinely instituted when God gave Adam a woman to be his helpmate and to share life together in the Garden of Eden. Jesus honored the celebration of marriage and chose its beautiful relations as the illustration of the bond that he enjoys with the church. In the Bible, Paul commends the institution of marriage and tells the husband to love his wife as Christ loved the church. He also tells the wife to be the faithful and obedient to be faithful and obedient to her husband as the church should yield to Christ. Jason, do you take Alex to be your wedded wife, to live and serve together under God in the covenant of faith, hope, and love? Do you promise to love her from this day forward for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health as long as you both shall live? I do. 
And Alex, do you take Jason to be your wedded husband, to live and serve together under God in the covenant of faith, hope, and love? Do you promise to love him from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, mostly poorer, if he's going to continue to be a teacher, in sickness and in health, as long as you both shall live? With Christ as the unifying center, drawing the two of you into oneness, you have mutually pledged submission to God and to one another. You are now not only committed to the Lord, but also to each other. From now on, your thoughts shall be for each other rather than for yourself. Your plans shall be mutual, your joys and your sorrows shared alike. Dad, may I have the rings? Carefully, please. You have selected these rings to be a symbol of your promise. They represent your faithfulness to one another. An unbroken and never-ending circle symbolizes a commitment of love that is never-ending. I pray that the rings will be a continual reminder of your love for each other and of God's perfect love for you. Look into Alex's eyes, please, and repeat those vows that you've written. Alex, you are truly a gift from God. Jason, you are truly a gift from God. And, and I, I commit, commit to, to spend, spend the rest, rest of my, my life, life treating you, you as such. such. I promise to love you now and as you grow. And develop into all that God intends. I pray that God will give me the grace and strength. I pray that God will give me the grace and the strength. To cherish you always and never take you for granted. And never take you for granted to lead you and guide you as Christ leads me. To be a helpmate for you and honor you as my spiritual leader. To follow his teachings and obey his commands. To follow you as you follow Christ. To lead by example with patience and understanding. To cover you in prayer. To be open and honest with you. To be open and honest with you. To speak words of kindness and not criticism. To be slow to anger and quick to listen. To work alongside you as you lead our family in glorifying God to be a strong spiritual leader in our home through the good times and bad, in joy and in sorrow. I will love you now and be faithful to you alone from this day forward. I will love you and be faithful to you alone from this day forward until death do us part. Until death do us part. This is my solemn pledge. This is my solemn pledge to, to you, you and, to, and God. to God. Please accept this ring as a symbol of our covenant and my undying love for you. Please accept this ring as a symbol of our covenant and my undying love for you. And now, Jason and Alex are going to perform the symbolic ritual of foot washing. As they do this, what they are doing is a demonstration of what they will live out daily. In this act of service, they are demonstrating their willingness to live their lives in mutual submission to one another. This choice to serve one another is a gracious reminder of the love and grace of Christ Jesus, our servant King. It also reminds us of and calls us to the beauty of empowering someone that you love by choosing to forgo your own desires. And both of you have the competitive spirit about you that God has given you. And as I have watched you and love you both and are so excited about what God is doing in you, I encourage you to implore that competitive spirit to outdo one another with love and good deeds. And you will fulfill the love of God in you and in your lives.
of anything before like I am in this moment here with you. Now for better or for worse are so much more than only words and I pray every day will be the proof that I mean what I say when I say of this act, they ask that if either of them began to stray from this commitment, that you would help to hold them accountable to remember this day and the promises that they had made together. Jason and Alex, because you have pledged your commitment to each other for a lifetime of love in the presence of God and these witnesses, by the authority vested in me, I now pronounce that you are husband and wife. And in keeping Jason and Alex, with your athletic motif today. Uh, instead of the kiss, you may give your each other a high five. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, look at that. Wow. May your kisses always have such power. <laughs> Turn around for a minute. I've got to introduce you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my distinct pleasure to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Jason Boyette. Unexplainable 
come and fill up in this dry land Let it open our eyes to see a world we've never seen Let it open our hearts up to feel you inside of us You hear inside of me Take me to the beautiful When the rivers flow When the earth that never ends Oh, I wanna go To the beautiful Oh, la, 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 la Take me to the beautiful Where the faces glow With a light that never dim Oh, I wanna go To the beautiful Oh, come on and take me To the mystery, gently lift me with your grace. Make the chaos a chorus, with yourself come fill this place. Cover me with your mercy, come and cover me with love. Cover me so that all might see that it's you, not me, it is you that I am singing. Your love is brighter than that.